You okay, sir? Yeah, Joe. Just a bit further, sir. Little Blue. Little Blue, over. Little Blue, Little Blue, over. Little Blue, Little Blue, can anyone hear me? Come back, please. So the battery's just not liking the cold. Deader than a can of corned beef, sir. Can you fix it? Oh, depends. If we can get the battery to warm up, we might have a chance. Jason. Nothing, sir. I bet if we get to higher ground, we might have better luck. Whole damn German army behind us, and we don't have a radio that works. All right, I'm gonna go give it a try. Orders. If we can't get out of here in 10 minutes, salvage what you can and destroy the rest. Don't leave anything for the Germans. Sir, yes, yes sir. sir. Hey, Mark, why don't you flip the lights on for a minute? Let's see if that warms it up. All right. Is that? Yeah, just give it a few minutes. If they saw you. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, I don't know. Corporal, they gotta be coming. We Shut need to up. fight them off. Shut up. Hey, what's your name? Shut Private Adam. Up. Would you? Okay. You give away our position and we're dead. We can't just stay here. I know. I know. Here's the deal. Listen up. I want a perimeter spread out down this tree line. Tight and quiet. Nobody shoots unless I do. Got it? Yes, sir. Okay. Go. Take it easy. You understand me? Yeah. I heard him. Damn, 106 transfers are a pain in the ass. Yeah, no shit. Hey, keep that BAR down. We're laying low this time. What's going on? Germans. What? Germans. What, Nazis? Yeah, Nazis. Man, if you were, Chief. Give me one. Yeah, yeah, me too, me too. It ain't time. Just take it from our count. Yeah, come on. They're all being here. They are. What about a light? Shut up. What the fuck? What's all you doing?
Piece of shit jammed on me anyway. Jesus. Whoa, hey, hey, hey. Look at me, I, all right? I did. Look at me! Follow my orders, or I'm gonna fucking kill you. Got it? That's corporal. Sure. All right. I got it. Get your shit, let's go. Hey, Jack. What do you want me to do with this? Huh? Next time? Try taking off the damn safe. Listen to me. Look, you're gonna get us all killed. Listen, or we're all dead. You understand me? I said, do you understand me? Yes, Tech Corporal. I understand. Sir? Yes. Uh, has uh, General Omar Bradley arrived yet? No, sir, not yet. We have everything set up, just like you asked. Mm -hmm. Updates? Reports keep pouring in. Sector H is withdrawing all along our lines. The German 12th and 9th Panzer Division seem to be in full force and knocking on everyone's front door. All units. Reporting enemy contact. <clears throat> the spotting plane? Is it ready? Can it go up? We are working on it. The weather still isn't ideal. All planes are grounded. Pass. I need to know what's going on out there. I need aerial observation. Come on. We will double our efforts, sir. You heard from Captain Daniels? Not yet, sir. He hasn't reported. He hasn't reported in yet? No, sir. What about Lieutenant Cabot? I haven't heard from him either, sir. This is the big one. Isn't it, Major? Well, we got our work cut out for us, Captain. Yes, sir. Give me a hint of that, Chief. Chief. You know how I'm Italian, right? Not Indian. <laughs> Wait, you're not Indian? No. Americanos never know the difference between us, mi amigo. You're Mexican? No. You tied your boots too tight. You're gonna cut off circulation. You're not gonna be able to feel your feet. Can't feel my feet as is already. Back home, 
whenever I went on a stroll in the woods or anything like that, I'd always take a compass with me so I could find my way out. Sure. <laughs> my brother, on the other hand, I mean, he could find his way out of anything. The kid would just use the, the sun, the woods, the stars, you name it. I mean, he, he was a Lewis. I was no Clark. Let's put it right. that way. Do you miss him? Yeah. Yeah, I do. Seen the service? Yeah, actually, when this whole damn thing started, we enlisted together. Yeah. I guess we thought we'd be in the same unit, and, you know, the Army, they had different plans. Yeah, well, I know how that goes. Found that out the day I got my draft notice. Okay, you were drafted. Yeah, I was. Get out of here. I was a shoe salesman in Chicago. No. Yeah? Jack was a shoe salesman. That's right. It's crabby old ladies, mostly. <laughs> Maybe you should have that. Jack, you're doing fine. Okay? Good. All right, we gotta move. Tell the guys. Yes, Corporal. Asshole. Little blue, little blue, over. Little blue, little blue, anyone out there, over. All right, try that. Shit, turn it off, turn it off. Hey, 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 killed my radio. You're the one using all the juice, Lefty. So what are we gonna do now? It's like we walk. Oh, thank Jesus. You boys having some trouble? We're glad to see you, sir. What's wrong with her? Battery's dead. Yeah, well, batteries don't like the cold much, but then again, who does? Radio still work? She's got juice. So if we were to go ahead and uh, give you a jump, it should work just fine, huh? Yeah, I reckon it would. So you think you can give us a jump? Anybody else know you boys are out here? No. Just us. What's uh what's going on, sir? I'm sorry. All right, boys, let's clean this puppy up. Open fear. English, please. Sorry, Captain. What do we do with the bodies? Leave them. Yes, sir. All right, boys, let's go. We need boots on the ground in 20 minutes. I need this thing purring like a goddamn cat. Let's go, let's go, let's go. We got chili on the stove. We got people to see. Oh. Jesus Christ Almighty, Mary, Joe, and Joseph.
Keep up. Damn thick snow. It ain't gonna get better. Your damn feet are as cold as ice. I told you not to tie your boots so tight. BAR is a bad choice. <laughs> How do you do that? Old Indian secret. What secret? Don't volunteer to carry the BAR. How much further do you think we gotta go? No, I have no idea. Well, Germans could be anywhere, so I suppose that it. Ruth! Loud as hell, Corporal. Can hear you all for miles. Take it easy, fellas. Can't be too careful these days. Plenty of German patrols in the area. Why don't you come with us? We'll get you back to friendly lines. Hot food? Sure. We're lucky. Why don't you boys come along with us? We've got a couple of Jeeps ready to take you back. All right, go on. So what do you think? I don't know. Something feels funny. Coming, Corporal? Yeah. Tell them to keep their eyes open. Got it. You know that? Give me anything you can on the whereabouts of the 755th. And where the hell those goddamn German Panzer tanks are! You okay, son? My old platoon was in the 755th. Our last communication was yesterday. Nothing. Well, listen up, son. Those boys you care about so much, they need you now more than ever. Understood? Right, sir. OK, Lieutenant. Can you find out where they are and then get them back in the fight? Yes, sir.
All right. Listen up, all of you. We're still in this fight. And I don't see any more defeated faces around me. Understood? Yes, yes sir. sir. All right, carry on. Attention! Continue, gentlemen. Don't let me stop. General. Looks like we are in the thick of it, eh, Mike? Well, I hate to say so, Brad, but it would seem that way. Weather blew in a major German offensive, eh? Yeah. Bitter cold wind. Give it to me straight. Well, all reports said the same thing. Infantry, tanks, artillery, everything. And uh, well, they're right down the Elsenborg Road. They're coming down the Gavin Road and the Andar Bridge. You don't think this is a feint? No, it's not infantry doing reconnaissance in force. This, these are crack panzer divisions. I think Hitler's last reserves. And your division is in retreat? Well, tactical withdrawal, we're referring it as. <laughs> Do you have any... Available resistance, any units that can muster a defense? No, only small, isolated units, platoons, companies doing what they can to stop the advance. Uh, I'm afraid that our flanks are exposed and they could surround us. Reserves? Unknown. I mean, we can't keep a comma wire up more than five minutes, much less lay a new one down. They have our flanks. They can cross the Meuse River. Right. And if they cross the Meuse River, they can go all the way to Antwerp and cut off the English Channel at our backs and separate us from the British who are up in Holland on our left. Our army should be trapped behind German lines without any hope for resupply. Ike wants to know what I want to do. I want to know what you want to do. May I speak my mind? Speak it. Well, it just doesn't make any sense. What doesn't? Well, if the Germans are going to try to make it all the way to Antwerp, they're going to have to refuel. Those panzers use a lot of fuel. Lieutenant. Give me the current fuel reserve estimates of the German army. If you're right, hold on a second. You're gonna to wanna to pay attention to this. We're making history here. If you're right, if he is right, then the Germans are gonna to wanna to refuel with our gas, which is, well, where is that? Well, our biggest reserve is right here, just north of Lanzarath. Which is where? Uh, right down the Elsenburn Road. I think you're on to something there, Mike. Carry on. Give me those numbers, son. All right, you boys wait here. I'll see what we can do to help you all out. Just doesn't make any sense. I don't know what the hell these NPs doing walking around in the woods. Yeah, and you see the markings on that Jeep? Uh-huh. That's one of our headquarters Jeeps. There's a lot of Jeeps around here. Could be a coincidence. Success. I got them out. Why are they here? Why don't you just kill them and be done with it? These men might be useful. Fine. Keep them alive. For now. Yes, sir. Looks like I got you boys a ride. Right this way. What about food? All you can eat.
What do you want to do? I don't know. We don't have a choice now. Jack. Now, you boys, be sure to keep your eyes peeled. Them Germans, they're everywhere. Welcome back, Lieutenant. You're lucky. The bullet barely grazed your side. I had to sew you up myself. A couple of days rest and you should be okay. Where am I? Field Hospital, Lanzareth, or what's left of it. Thanks for fixing me up, ma'am. But I really gotta get going. Uh, you shouldn't be moving yet. The stitches need time to set. Lieutenant Kappa can't die. He's got the Lord on his side. Doc, it's good to see you too, sir. I found these. How? I was picked up by a patrol and I was brought here. Decided to stick around and help out where I could. I really appreciate the fix, ma'am. I just can't stop. Here, you'll need this. Change the old with the new in the next 24 hours. Harris has the command room set up in the mill house. You can't miss it. Who has command? Sergeant Harris. New officers? I'm the ranking officer here, Lieutenant. But they don't take field orders from nurses. Captain, I didn't mean. He didn't mean nothing by it. It's OK, Lieutenant. Change that bandage, or I will find you and change it myself. Yes, Captain. Good to see you, Doc. Yes, sir. Do you think he knows? Well, if he doesn't, he will soon enough. Attention! At ease, fellas. Glad you're still with us, Lieutenant. Thanks to you. What's your name? Gene Kappa. I figured any man able to keep ahead of the whole damn German army is a man worth saving, Lieutenant Kappa. Gray's wound. Hurts like hell, don't it? Ain't no ticket home, though. No, it's not. And even if it was a million dollar wound, no one seems to be going home these days. Are you the ranking NCO? Yes, sir. Any officers? We lost Lieutenant Briggs a few days back. Just us now. 350 field artillery. At least what's left of us. Well, where's your guns? Destroyed. We have a few long times and a handful of rounds between us. Just you colored. We picked up a few white doughs a day or two ago, but we haven't spread it out along our checkpoints. Is this as bad as it looks, sir? We haven't had any contact in a long time. Germans are making a major push this way. Heavy infantry, tanks, artillery, all coming this way. Last orders I received, hold at all costs. 
So it's like that. So it seems, Sergeant. We created a few makeshift checkpoints and choke points around our perimeter. And we're here in the middle. The Germans have been probing all along our lines trying to cut off our position. I mean, hell, it's probably already cut off now and they're just trying to take it. Artillery? Incoming, I guess, but they're either short or long and too close. What, they don't have you zeroed in? It's not that, sir. They know exactly where to hit us. What, if they have you cut off? Why aren't they advancing? I'll show you. This is our large fuel supply within 15, 20 miles, I reckon. Why don't you blow it? <laughs> A black man destroying army property? No, sir. No orders to do that yet. What do you think we should do, sir? What do you mean? Well, I mean no disrespect. You are the only officer here. What's the best route in the town? Main road coming in. All right, let's go have a look. Any sign of the Germans? No, not on these roads. Sully. You're alive. Well, they haven't killed me yet. I can see they've tried. Are these your boys? What's left of them? Germans hit us hard, scattered, and fell back. A lot of that going around. Nowhere left to run, sir. All right. Show me what you got. Sir, we have a plane in the sky, one of our best pilots. Braxton 4, Braxton 4, Little Blue, over. Braxton 4, we copy. <sighs> Captain, what do you see up there? Thick as soup, sir. I don't know how much longer we can stay up here. Over. Waters. They say that you're the best, can fly through anything, rain, snow, sleet, or hail. Over. The best? Is that how I volunteered for this mission? Over. Captain, you are my eyes, and I'm blind down here. Over. You don't mind me, sir. What are we doing up here? You're looking for the goddamn German army, Waters. We need to know if it's a major offensive. Over. What am I looking for? Over. You'll know it when you see it. Over. Copy that. Over now. Goddamn flyboy. I'd like to get him down here with the second division.
Sir. Private? Quiet. Germans. They're crawling over there. Wait, sir. That's one of ours. How can you tell? A little hum of that engine? That's one of our scout planes, no doubt about it. A scout plane, huh? I'm gonna try something. Little blue. Little blue, over. Little blue, little blue, over. Little blue, little blue, come in. Major? Daniels, is that you? Jeez, it's good to hear your voice, sir. Where are you? In a recon plane in the clouds. We're looking for the enemy. I must be in, in range of your plane, sir. If you're looking for the Germans, you're not too far away. You see them? They're right in front of me, sir. We're gonna try to get a better view. We'll keep trying and keep the line open. Roger that, sir. We'll get underneath the clouds. I don't know what is underneath me, sir. If we run into a tree, that'll end this real fast. Waters, just do it. <whistles> My, that is a lot of Germans. Confirmed. Looks like the whole damn German army. Location, 479 South 687. Repeat. 479 South 687. Sir, I can't stay up here much longer. That's all I need, Captain. Get out of there. Come on home. Copy that. Did you get that, sir? Over? Sir, over. Just trying to keep the ice off her, sir. She's sure we'll run smooth. HE rounds mostly, sir. Though we do have a handful of AP rounds. The boys and I uh, scrapped up everything we could, couldn't we, boys? Does it drive? Shot, sir. Uh, drive wheel hit by a German mine. <laughs> it was a hell of a time getting it out here. Uh, Tranny's gone. This is our girl's last Resting place. Old Logger Road. Not many people know about this spot, except for the locals. We thought it'd be best to move the tank here. But if the locals know about it, the crowds know about it. Hmm. Yeah. It doesn't appear to be in action. It's, uh, well, <laughs> should be surprised when they come down this way. The Valley Creek should protect us from the east the mines should protect our south flank. You know about those mines. The Germans will have a tough time coming through here. Damn right. But they will come. Low on ammunition. Not much for tank defense. No hope for friendly fire, artillery, or reinforcements. Sir, we can hold these positions. We can fight. The Germans have an attack in force. They will. And then what? What's left? Who's left? My platoon was, was ambushed. King Tiger came out of the woods, took everyone out. These men, these are, these are all we got. Uh, sir, I, 
I just, I want to fight back. I owe my men that. I owe myself that. No. I'm losing no more men on my watch. Get your platoons off the line. Pull out in third. Yes, sir. Linens, bandages, syrettes, morphine and plasma. How much longer? Maybe enough for another day? Maybe two if we're lucky. Ma'am, we don't have much left of anything. Food, water, maybe three days more is all. Find the ones that take priority. We ration the rest, make do the best we can. Yes, ma'am. Something else, Hope? No, ma'am. It's just that, well, how can we help these men? Take it one day at a time. Stop the bleeding. We need more AB negative. We are out. No, we aren't. Matthew. Mary? It's OK. We can make more. Hell, it is the lieutenant. We knew you're too tough for them crowds, sir. When we didn't run into the woods, we thought the worst. Hey, where's Rock? Rock didn't make it. He was a good man. He was. Lieutenant, are you the one in charge here? Yes, sir. This depot is still intact. Guns, fuel, ammunition. Yes, sir. But uh, we were just about to blow it. Sir, I gave the order to blow the depot. Leave nothing for the Germans. Well, that's very smart, Lieutenant. Very smart indeed. I mean, them Germans, <laughs> they'll be here any minute. But y'all don't have to worry about anything else. Just make sure you don't leave anything on the way out, all right? Sir, I've already given the orders. Well, the orders have changed, Lieutenant. We'll handle this. Sir, we have wounded, and they need to leave. We'll get them evacuated as soon as possible. Sir, may I say I'm that? sorry. Am I the lieutenant, or are you? All right, when I say jump, you say how high. That's how this works. All right? I'm in charge. Tell me you understand. Do you understand? Do you understand me? But, sir, we have critical wounded, and I'm not leaving without her. Fine. You boys, you go ahead. You take who you want. Let me know if you need a hand. Thank you, sir. See you around the depot. We're with you, sir. 
Let's start gathering the wounded. Well, that confirms it. Major German offensive, tanks and troops in the thousands. Recon was a success. Elsenborn Ridge is the northern edge of the German offensive. You know, all they gotta do is swing up to the north and cut us and the British off. Yes, but if we could form a bottleneck on that road, we might be able to force the Germans southeast and Patton and his third army are down there. No, that won't stop them. Well, maybe not, but, sir, I have to say, that is, that's rough terrain. Thick forests, thin intersecting logging roads. The Germans will have a hell of a time trying to supply their tanks there. I'll report this back to Ike, see what he wants to do. Okay. Now, there's been some disturbing reports of English-speaking Germans dressed in American military uniforms moving in and out of our lines. Krauts pretending to be Americans? Damn good English, too. That's troubling. Command has been put on high alert. That bad? Yet to be seen. Mike? It's good work. Doc. That's the last of those that can be moved, sir. The rest need to stay where they are. Sir, I, I'd like to request to stay behind. Are you sure? Yes, sir. Hey! You're not authorized to take that Jeep. This is one of ours. It belongs to our HQ. Sergeant, this does belong to us. I'm sorry, sir. I can't let you take that Jeep. What's the problem here? Sir. This Jeep belongs to our division, and we need it to move out our wounded. Hmm. Request denied, Lieutenant. We need these vehicles to uh, conduct our operations. You, your boys, the wounded, y'all are going to have to walk out of here. Well, then we're not leaving, sir. Are you disobeying an order? No, sir. Just waiting for clarification. <laughs> well, fine, go ahead. Take them. We're running out of time anyway. Gentlemen. <laughs> Sir, something's a little bit off about our new friends here. You might need this. All right, let's move out. Go. Inform Hosfjord Piper that petrol supply is ours. Any American outposts? Any remaining? See that they're disposed of. What do you want us to do with the remaining American wounded? Them too. Yes, sir. We got for side. We gonna reinforce us? We're falling back, Jack. Can be that bad? Nah, just tack the board drop. Keep them in low. I don't let the cross know what we're up to. Outpost. Pull them last. Say thanks, Sarge. It's my war now. Up your piper, sir. Hello, sir. Yes, sir, I'm looking at it right now. Yes, sir. 
Advance into town. We'll be ready. Out. Get them boys on the petrol first. I don't want a drop spilled. Yes, sir. Take the lead out of your boots, Sergeant. Come on, get a move on. What are we standing around for? Let's go, come on. Got to do everything around here. Sir, get your men prepared to move off the line. We're blowing the depot. But what about the Germans? We're gonna regroup and link up. Are you okay with that? We have the MPs. They're just gonna have to handle it from here. Yes, sir. Someone give me a hand! Daniels? Captain! Hell of a day to find you. Let's get him to this jeep. Get water, water. Here you go, sir. Heavy German infantry. An army coming down the road. Well, it's a good thing we find you then, sir. Hey. We're getting out of here. Pull him out. Hey, where'd you find this? MPs in town, sir. Figured it was one of ours. Military police. That's right. This is my Jeep. This is my Jeep. My men were ambushed by military police. They killed everyone. I managed to get away. Those are the same guys? It had to be. This is my headquarters jeep. You guys came in with them. What do you think? Something sure did seem off about them, sir. They're German, sir. We gotta go back. Sully, we got heavy German armor coming down the road. Tanks, half tracks, half the damn German army. How are they looking? Sergeant? Were they expecting a fight? I don't know, Sarge. They don't know we're here. I suppose they didn't seem ready for a fight. What do you think, Gene? Well, we can't leave the depot. So what do we do, run and hide, or do we stay and fight? We have to fight. So what's your plan, Lieutenant? Give me some runners. Yes, sir. Hey, listen up! I want everybody locked and loaded, all right? We shoot our way out of this place. We need to be ready. Sir, I'm on grand. I haven't shot one of those since basic. Get me something else. OK, uh, all right. How about a grease gun? That's something else. Hey, what's going on, Private? Checking on frequency 473. What's it say? The Germans are preparing. Hold fire until the last minute. And then we fall back. We're blowing the depot. Good luck, Gene. We fight? We fight. Hey, we fight? Tell Kappa's men, we are ready. Right, Sarge. What now? Ready the tanks? Make sure they don't see us unaware. Hey, it's Lieutenant. Yeah, we heard you had to change ours, sir. Those American MPs? Yeah, they're Germans in American uniforms. Oh, sneaky crowd bastards. Germans are coming in thinking they hold the town. We're gonna get the jump on them. They're gonna be mad as hell. Yeah, we've been ready for this. When you hear the depot explode, that's your signal to fall back. Hell yeah. Good luck, Sergeant. Yes, sir. We're going to war.
Hey, Rudy. Yeah. Rudy. Where's that Wayne kid? Haven't seen him. Everybody's ready, Kevin. All right. When we get into town, let me do all the talking. If there needs to be any shooting, wait for my signal. Yes, sir. Sure you're ready for this? I'm the only one they won't recognize. Just make sure we have time to blow that depot. German, coming in. That's our cue. Good luck. Men are ready, sir. Good. Think the Germans will fall for it? These will help. This can work. This will work. Is there a problem, soldier? Say that again, Private? Hell of a thing, Sarge. The Germans are coming, and our officers are looking at fighting them. Checkpoints are still up? It's looking that way, sir. They sent you back here to tell us that. Not exactly. I figured shooting it out here would be better than in the woods. You did good, Private. Did good. Making a push. Be on the ready. You ready, boys? You ready? Rifles at the ready! No one fires until I give the signal. That judge ready? Jury's in session. Sir, we got a problem. What is it? The Americans still hold the checkpoints. Get command on the radio now! What are you doing standing here still? I don't care if you gotta walk barefoot. Get your butt out there and do something. What do you got? Letting your boots? Let's go on the double. God damn it!
sure this is gonna work, right? It's gonna work. All right. Just keep smiling and waving like an idiot. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Time's up. <laughs> Turn it! I did it, got it! Double, move! Four, Newhart, on the western flank! Scott, Pike, I want you on the south! Look sharp! Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa! What can I do for you, Captain? Howdy. Anaconda? Now! Here they come! No one fires until I give the signal. Hold it. Hold it. my signal. Thank you. 
minutes to set the charge, five minutes to get the hell out of ten Dodge. Minutes, Pat, just say ten minutes. You worry about the time. Let me worry about this. Okay. I'll cover you. Okay. Covering fire! Sure this is a good idea, sir? Best idea I've had in the war. Yeah, I heard about Bocage. I hated the Bocage. Sir, how many shots we got? Two. Better make them count. All right, let's go. Let's go. Corporal! You got a problem there! What is it, Pavlov? My timing device. It's not working. What does that mean? That means someone has to stay behind to. Do it manually. I'll do it. Oh, no. Wayne, what the hell happened? I'll do it. I'll stand behind. No, Wayne, we can't just leave you here. Please. Let me do this. OK. Five minutes. Thank you. It's OK. Go. Let's move out. Is that much longer? Did it work? Like a charm. Five minutes, this place lights up like Christmas. Move out! The petrol! The petrol! The petrol! Go, 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 go! 
Pretzel, the pretzel, go, go, go! Stop him! That's the signal! Fall back! Fall back! Lord, fall back! That's the signal! Everybody, move it! Fall back! Fall back! <clears throat> Sir, the general. Attention! And he's... And he's... Mike? How was your trip? In trouble? Uh, no. No, no trouble. Though I did find myself detained by the military police as a suspected German infiltrator. Oh, how's that? What's Capitol doing all? Springfield. Yeah, so I thought myself. At which point I suspected this young man as he himself being an infiltrator. That or a product of poor education. Or simply harboring fond memories of a trip to Chicago. <laughs> we're, <laughs> we're determining uh, which presently. Mm. Oh, these crowds, I tell you. They've got us all twisted up. They're cutting wires, they're turning road signs. <laughs> Sending us all willy-nilly. Hey, if we routed the 375th and 376 regiments through Wallace Shield. And? And the crowd switched all the road signs. Half the division turned up in Frankfurt. Oh, God. What about our artillery? Half made it. Half got jammed in the rear. Jesus. What did Ike say? We're gonna meet to discuss the options. Mm. Mike, you've been in the thick of it. What would you do? Where do we make our stand? Bastogne. All reinforcements to best done. And that's where we make our stand. I'll tell the general. And sir? Thank you, sir. You know, I said it before, Mike, and I'm going to say it now, perhaps, hopefully with more meaning. Thank you. What are your orders, sir? We're going to Bastogne, Haas. Prepare my jeep. Yes, sir. All right, listen up, everyone. Orders to all units. Turn and fight. Stop the Germans, or at least try to slow them down. We need to buy time. Send out the order. Now. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Estonia. Is this all that's left? Good to see you, Sergeant. Hell of a show, Captain, but next time, make it quicker. Take that into consideration, Sergeant. East. The roads are open east. Bastogne? Bastogne. All right, get in. We don't have any time to lose. Mount up!